This figure is a circle with a line segment of 8 units, and another vertical line of length root 5 units, perpendicular to the diameter of the circle. Find the area of the circle. To solve this problem, first let's label this point. A. B. C. And D. Let the center of the circle be O. Next, let's join A and C with a straight line. Observe that angle BAC is 90 degrees. Reason. From the circle theorem of angle in a semicircle, which states that angle in a semicircle is right angle, that is 90 degrees. Next, let BD, BY, and the radius of the circle be X. To find the radius of the circle, First, let's focus on triangle BDO. Since line DO is perpendicular to the diameter, it follows that triangle BDO is a right triangle. If we call this angle alpha, then the remaining angle of this triangle will be 90 degrees minus alpha. Reason The sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Next, let's focus on triangle ABC. Notice that, triangle ABC has a common angle with triangle BDO, which we have already taken as alpha. Triangle ABC is also a right triangle. So, the remaining angle will be 90 degrees minus alpha. Reason The sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Comparing triangle BDO and triangle ABC. Observe that angle DBO is equal to angle ABC. Angle BDO is equal to angle BCA. And angle BOD is equal to angle BAC. This shows that triangle BDO is similar to triangle ABC. And the proportionality of their corresponding sides is BD over BC is equal to OB over AB. BD is equal to Y. BC is X plus X, which is equal to 2X. OB is X. And AB is 8. Substituting these values in the above equation will give us y over 2x is equal to x over 8. By cross multiplication, we will have y times 8 is equal to 2x times x, which will give us 8y is equal to 2x squared. Dividing through by 8 will leave us with y is equal to x squared over 4. Next, let's consider triangle BDO. Since triangle BDO is a right triangle, from Pythagoras' theorem, BD squared is equal to OB squared plus OD squared. BD is equal to y, which is equal to x squared over 4. OD is equal to root 5. And OB is equal to X. Substituting these values in the formula will give us X squared over 4 squared is equal to root 5 squared plus X squared. Simplifying this will give us X power 4 over 16 is equal to 5 plus X squared. Next, we multiply through by 16 to clear the fraction. And this will give us x power 4 is equal to 16 times 5 plus x squared, which is equal to x power 4 is equal to 80 plus 16x squared. And this equation can be written as x power 4 minus 16x squared minus 80 is equal to 0. And this is a biquadratic equation. To factorize this equation, first, we are going to transform the biquadratic equation into a quadratic equation. 
To do so, let's take p to be x squared. And the quadratic equation will be p squared minus 16p minus 80 is equal to 0. Going further, we are going to factorize this equation. To factorize this equation, first, we multiply the first term and the third term of this equation. Doing so will give us minus 80p squared. Next, we find the factors of minus 80p squared, that when added together will give us minus 16p, that is, the second term of this equation. These factors are, 4p and minus 20p. Next, we replace minus 16p, with 4p, and minus 20p. So that we will have, p squared, plus 4p, minus 20p, minus 80, is equal to 0. Next, we factor out. From the first bracket, p, will factor out to leave us with, p, plus 4. From the second bracket, 20, will factor out to leave us with, p, plus 4, which is equal to 0. Note that, the two brackets must be the same. Hence, we can say that, p, minus 20, times p, plus 4, is equal to 0. If p, minus 20, times p, plus 4, is equal to 0. It follows that, p, minus 20, is equal to 0. Or, p plus 4 is equal to 0. If p, minus 20, is equal to 0, then p, is equal to 20. And, if p, plus 4, is equal to 0, then p is equal to minus 4. Since the radius of the circle must be greater than 1, then we take p is equal to 20, as our solution. Next, let recall that. We substitute x squared, with p. It follows that. x squared, is equal to 20. Taking the square root of both sides will give us. x, is equal to 2 root 5. And this is the radius of the circle. To find the area of the circle. The area of a circle, is equal to. pi radius squared. If we substitute the radius with 2 root 5, the area of the circle will be equal to pi times 2 root 5 squared. 2 root 5 squared is equal to 20. Hence, the area of the circle is equal to 20 pi square units. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.